Este es Ron con Anacomputers.com, otro video para ti hoy. This is a Dell Inspiron 1 2305 model. It's an all-in-one, and a customer just brought it in to me on a Sunday. I get customers on weekends. And basically what happened was she upgraded it to Windows 10 from Windows 7, and it blue-screened earlier, I think, in March or April. And I fixed it was able to get Windows 10 to work well the fall creators update butchered this computer the fall creators update that just rolled out like a week ago fucked up this Inspiron all-in-one 2305 so since this is the second time that this computer is having problems with Windows 10 I recommended that we roll her back to Windows 7 and she agrees it's got a COA sticker. She thinks this computer is compatible with Windows 10. I looked it up. It's possible. She's probably right. She could be right. However, this computer was manufactured before Windows 10 ever, you know, was installed. You know, even maybe even before the beta or whatever. This computer is designed for Windows 7. So I'm going to show you how to take out the hard drive. So it's an it's an Inspiron all in one. It's kinda it's a little bit heavy, but it's not too bad. I'll show you. It's a nice it's a really nice computer. It's kind of dusty, but that's okay. It's designed for Windows 7. You see the sticker right there? Vision AMD. It's probably a quad core. It's a very nice computer. It's an all in one. It's kinda heavy. So lay it on its the screen lay it flat turn it over lay it flat there's only two screws so when I first received it, I was like well where's the screws don't tell me I have to you know pry this open on the sides where's the screws and I quickly googled it and I figured it out there's just two screws so this is excellent case design in my opinion the right here, here on the bottom, you have this cable stand, kick stand. That's kind of weird, but it, it doesn't break. It's just, I don't know what it is, but right on the underneath, here I might even be able to move my, this and show you where the screws are at. There's one right there by the thumb, and there's one right here, right there. Two of them are right alongside the, the kickstand. Oh, my phone almost, my phone moved. I've got three of those VoIP phones, but I hate to, I hate for any of them to break. I've got a spare, but still. All right, so then it's just two screws. You just need a, a Phillips. That's all you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver for this one real easy alright so we'll just take the two screws off and the cover comes off really easily this is what to me this was an excellent case design Dells are like some Dells are like that it's just a couple of screws I know on the Dell what is it E6410 laptop quad core it's only like what f two screws also I think on, on that laptop so remove the screws don't lose them there they are. Set them aside. Put the Phillips away or whatever. Throw it out. Whatever. And then guess what? Look. That's it. Look. Push away. Push that way. Push away from the bottom. Towards the top. And that's it. Boom. And then look. Boom. Two screws. Bam. Cover off. I mean, you can't, I mean, that that's excellent. You can't get any better than that to me. A lot of these all-in-ones, they've got screws on the sides. They'll have screws all the way around. Like, you know, you know, right here, you, can you see that? All the way around, they'll be like anywhere from, I would say, six to ten screws. That one was two. Now, the, you've got the cover off. There's the fan here's the heat sink 
there's a little circuit board here's the DVD drive I have to move this I gotta move this guy I don't know there's the DVD drive over here there's a little power board probably could be for the uh, it could be for the, the back light here's another little power board over here is probably I'm thinking the microprocessor might be underneath here the 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 fan and heat sink is over here I don't see them underneath but I don't need to worry about that I just like to point things out so let's cut to the chase the hard drive is right here on the right hand side as you're looking down there's the cover so it looks like it's just four screws well it could be more than that but we'll try these that's probably for the hard drive it looks like probably these right here it could be just two to get this cover off let me try to move the let me try to move that and it's right down here you should be able to see it see right down there there's one right there so we'll take that one out all of the major components have covers on that's a good thing too there's a little bit of dust I might clean out the fan for her actually I probably will she's not gonna pick it up until next weekend like a week probably on a you know, week from now so that'll give me plenty of time and I won't be stressed out so that's it so the, the you loosen the two they don't come out you just loosen them and then pull to the right pull away from the fan and the rest of the computer out the right hand side pull out and then bam there it is and then disconnect the power the SATA power you should not work on a computer with the power ever plugged in and then that's unhook the SATA the red is the SATA and here's the power and then bam there you've got a hard drive and you notice these I like this design too I like when manufacturers leave the screws in you they just you just loosen them but they don't come out that there and then it's harder for you to lose them same thing with this one they loosen but they do not fall out I like that design and this is a nice solid cover Dell with a lot of computers Dell they make their cases just excellent especially some of their the all-in-ones and their laptops where it's just two screws to get to the the rest of the components here's the hard drive and it looks like looks like it's not going to looks like right here it's attached there's four screws right here there's one two three four and that tightens the hard drive onto the cover now there's some screws on the side but with this design you don't need those so we're just gonna unscrew these and then bam and then I have to recover the data I will probably whoops I don't want to lose that one so you might want to have a just exactly what I just did you might want to have a magnetic screwdriver because exactly what I did and you do not want to lose screws and cases because they will roll around and they can cause the the computer to short see what I just did I just fucked up there we go all right let's not make that mistake again set the screw aside and I'm just gonna pull this cover off to show you excellent case design in my opinion there's a magnetic screwdriver so we'll throw that one over there there's another one you can use a mechanical screwdriver but I just use old school old school magnetic this is a this is old I've had it for a while is it generic I don't even know if I bought it I just collect things <laughs> I'm, I'm not a thief that doesn't even have a brand on it but I've had this a long time and there's the four screw and then we'll get the cover off magnetic 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 set those aside and then the cover just comes right off so just pull up bam there's the hard drive you can set the cover aside 
I'll just set it aside down below. I'll just throw it down there. That was carpet. I don't want to hear it. Any abusive comments get moderated. Any spam and abusive comments get moderated on all my videos. And I remove those comments. And I also block you permanently. Lifetime ban. And I report your abusive comments to YouTube. And if you get enough complaints, you may get your YouTube channel terminated. Here's a Seagate Barracuda 7200.12. It's 750 gigabyte hard drive. Let's see, when was it manufactured? I would say probably seven, eight years ago, maybe. Does it have a date? Sometimes they have dates on them. Date code 11, 111.72. That's obviously not 1972. It doesn't look like this one has any kind of a date on it. I was just curious. There's nothing wrong with the hard drive. This is a good hard drive. There's no reason for me to, you know, run any scans or fix bad sectors. I had to pull it because I'm going to reinstall the operating system. And I wanted to show you what it took to take the hard drive out of a Inspiron 1 2305 Dell all-in-one and then if you were to replace a hard drive you just grab the new hard drive and then you might you need to make sure that you get you put this back right so I know that the the screws are on the edge so this will go just like this the screws were towards the the outside so then you just and then the connect and then you see the hole if you get confused there's a hole here for the back of the hard drive where the SATA and power connectors are. And you just reverse engineer it. That probably goes like, yep, and then the holes, yep. So that protects the bottom. And then you would just put it back down, tighten the four screws here, tighten the, the two for the the guard. And then that was it, and then you just put back the cover, and there's two screws, and that's it. And then that's how you replace a hard drive in a Dell Inspiron 2305 all-in-one. I think that's about it. Now I have to recover the data. It's a healthy hard drive. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll probably make a video. I'm going to use Windows 95. <laughs> Windows, whatever. Windows 95. I don't know what I was thinking. Windows 2010. Windows 95. You know what? I'm gonna. I have a copy of Windows 95. Maybe that's what I. Why I popped into my brain. I actually have a copy of Windows 95, and one of my projects is is to grab a a more recent computer and load it and see what will happen to it. <laughs> I don't know where that came out of. Windows 10. Windows 10. And I will make a video. I did, I'm, my Linux hard drive has problems, but I was able to recover. I, I, that's another digression. I have multiple hard drives. One that has just Linux and another hard drive that is where my customer files are at. That's it. So this isn't that long of a video. I might, I will probably clean, clean out the fan is right here. And I don't want to, I don't like to mess with this OEM tape, but if I can, it looks like two screws here. If I can get this fan out without, I just hate to take to. You see how it it comes off? This shield, it's like a shield type of. You know, it's almost like tin foil, but I hate to take it off because you know. I, I don't know. I'm weird like that. You know what? I might be able to. I'm gonna try to clean up the fan. You know what I actually do is I take them out and I clean them with water. No no chemicals, just hot water, but I let them dry for I would say at least half a day. You make sure that you let the fans dry and I I clean them off with with water. I don't try to use chemicals maybe if there's a if there's really a lot of you can see you can see the caked on dust, but hot water a lot of times we'll get rid of that, the caked on dust. Once in a while I use soap if it's really, really, really thick. But other than that, I avoid chemicals. 
And then that's it. I'm not going to mess around with any of this. There's no reason for I'm not going to take this cover off and look for where the RAM is. I mean, I could make another video showing. Maybe I could do that, make another video showing you how to, you know, replace the RAM. But this is a healthy computer, so I don't even know if I'm going to do that. Adios.